Good morning and welcome to week one of personal selling. I'm Professor Janovic and I'll be teaching you this semester this late start class, eight week late start class. So it's going to go by very quickly, but it's going to be well worth it and you'll be done before you know it. Um, I've been teaching at college level for six years now and five years has been at Maricosta and five years has been online. So I definitely have got this down. Um, I've actually rewritten this course, Personal Selling, to make it zero textbook. So I have spent the last two months restructuring this entire course so that you don't have to purchase a textbook. And to just to make things easier for you, how things work in this class is everything is set up in modules. So we'll have eight modules, the eighth one being the finals week. And I'll be releasing um, two modules at a time. So for those that want to work ahead, they can because this is an online course. Uh, so module one is usually introduction and an overview of personal selling in the lecture slides. I will have a little bit of info about me so you can kind of get to know my background. As you can see, I'm a runner. Um, that's my passion is ultra running out in the mountains, not the road. And I have actually created my business model to work in that niche. So I do social media marketing and all different types of marketing, mainly social media um, for running companies, running brands and race directors. So the people who put on the races. Uh, so that's my business. And uh, when I'm not working, I'm teaching online and I usually teach social media marketing, principles of marketing, business communications, and now personal selling. So wherever there's a need that semester in the business and CSIT departments. So a lot of experience with personal selling. It's what I do every day, whether I'm selling myself and my services to my clients or I'm selling a product and a ser or a service or an event for my clients. So doing this every day, lots of experience. Um, a lot of the, the majority of the examples in class will be running related. So um, I also like to give you real life examples, tips and experiences like, hey, this is what I did this weekend for my client, just to give you guys an idea of what's out there and the dip different types of personal selling there is. Um, so again, we're set up in modules. There's always a fun little check in so that you can kind of get to know your classmates online. We usually have a discussion, a quiz and an assignment. Uh, that's kind of the flow of the week. Uh, this discussions are made for you to engage with your classmates and I force you to do responses. Always make sure you have the minimum word count. You can't just answer a question with like one sentence and a one sentence response. I really want you to think about it. Make sure you're answering all the questions in the discussion to get the full amount of points. Quizzes, don't stress about it. They're really easy. They're only five questions each. Um, and it's all based on the lecture slides to make sure that you went through the lecture si slides and that you watch the lecture videos. With the lecture videos, I keep them short as well. They're usually around 20, 25 minutes. Get straight to the point, no fluff because let's be real. We have a lot of things going on in our life and we don't have the longest attention spans, right? So short and sweet to the point. Um, there are some major projects in the class. There's two major projects in the class and I will post those a little halfway through the semester. You'll have a final sales presentation and a PowerPoint presentation. So uh, in this class, you'll learn how to do presentations so you can take those tools and move um, in your career with those. I have office hours once a week, same day and time. They're on the syllabus, they're via Zoom. Um, Sometimes I might change the office hours based on, you know, if I want to throw in an extra one, if there's a lot of questions or if something's going on in my schedule, I might need to switch days every now and then, but I always give you guys a heads up on that. I will be giving out some uh, extra credit opportunities throughout the semester and it's usually attending certain webinars or in-person networking events on campus. Um, so, but there are online options too. So for those that maybe can't commute, have transportation issues, don't live in the area, strap for time, that sort of thing. Um, but don't depend on the extra credit assignments. Don't think, oh, I can skip this assignment because I'll just do an extra credit one later. Really try to focus on this class, get your discussions done, your assignments done, and then um, have the extra credit if you need it. Or if you want to attend a cool event or webinar, you're going to get points for it. Uh, the other thing in this class is that um, there's a syllabus in there that states all the information from Miracosta College, all the policies. Please be aware of deadlines, due dates, um, grading policy is in there, uh, the rules on turning in late work, uh, standard Miracosta policies on plagiarism, 
new AI features and that type of plagiarism. So please be aware of all the school policies that they're not necessarily my policies, they're the school policies. So we have my policies and we have the school policies. I also have on the homepage of Canvas there at the very bottom, business tools and resources with a bunch of hot links to different MiraCosta um, services. There are so many services and resources on campus that I highly encourage the students to use because mainly they're free and once you graduate you won't have them. So a really good one that I always encourage my students to use is the Writing Center. If it's been a while since you've done writing or you want to get better at writing or if you feel like you're not that great at writing or like shoot I don't remember what an outline is. It's been forever since I've written an outline or maybe you're this is your first college semester from high school or maybe you're in high school. Um, all the different reasons, please use the Writing Center. It's a free resource and it helps so much, um, not just with your grade, but improving your writing. Uh, other resources are, uh, like I said, the dates, the administration, drop policies, uh, workshops, webinars, career center, um, care department. If you're going through something, you can visit the care department, transfer center, all those hot links are in the modules, uh, the homepage where the modules are. So that's kind of how the class works. I'm excited to teach this this semester and get to know all of you better. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email me. I'll email back or you come to my office hours. And I hope everyone has a great semester.